In this previous video, I showed you how to convert a sprinkler pop-up line into a drip system. In this video, I'll show you the rest of the story. I'll show you how to install a drip line without having to manually install drip emitters. In this video, I'm going to show you the super easy and quick way I installed a drip system for this orchard without popping in emitters. But before we get started, I need to preface a few things for your sake due to the nature of what we're discussing. First, we must assume that you're either on municipal water or that you have a filtration device before your irrigation valves. If not, please watch this video about dirty water sources. Next, regardless whether you have a clean water or dirty water source, be sure you have a filter installed between your sprinkler valve and the drip tubing. What I'm going to show you is awesome, but the holes in the tubing are so small that you need to take every precaution to keep debris and mineral deposits from accumulating and eventually clogging the holes. Be sure that regardless of which filters you have that you clean them as often as needed to keep them clean. If your water pressure leading to the sprinkler valves is a static 65 PSI or higher, then you're probably going to need a pressure regulator. Be sure it's installed after the filter so it can stay clean. If you're converting a pop-up line to create this drip line, be sure to watch the previous video. It'll be a great help. If you've installed or repaired drip lines, you know that it can be a tedious job moving around on your knees to install all the emitters at every plant and tree. If you just have plants and trees that are spread out like this, or a hedge like this, or in an orchard setting like this, perfect. This is where we'll begin. What I'm revealing to you here is commonly called TechLine. That's the product name of the most popular manufacturer of this product, Netafim, though there are a few other manufacturers who produce this product under their own names. The size tubing is what we call half inch. There's also a quarter inch size that is commonly dubbed dripper line. We'll talk about that shortly. The half inch version is typically available in six inch, 12 inch and 18 inch versions, but the 12 inch version is the most common. It puts out one gallon per hour. So with that in mind, how long will it take to put down half a gallon of water at each emitter? That's right, half an hour. So you can program your timer accordingly depending on your needs. Keep in mind that you don't need this or any other tubing right at the base of the trees or plants. We're merely putting water down into the soil like wetting a sponge and letting the roots draw it up as needed so focus on the root zone instead. I highly recommend keeping drip tubing above the soil so the gophers and squirrels don't chew on it and the roots don't swallow it and pinch it off. The beauty of this tech line is that you just connect it to your water source and lay it down. Bam, it's done. You'll need to use jute staples to hold it down as needed and use a figure eight to crimp the end. In this previous video, you saw that I installed black tubing to get near the fruit trees. Next, I installed tech line under the drip line of each tree. The drip line of the tree is the outermost branches of the tree where the rainwater drips off. The drip line is about where the roots extend to, and that's where you want to water, so they'll reach for the water. Dripper line is the quarter inch version of this and typically is available in 6 inch and 12 inch spacing, but 6 inch spacing is the most popular. With this, you must keep the laterals 19 feet or less, otherwise you won't have enough water pressure. Dripper line should be tied into the black tubing, not the tech line. I advise not punching any holes in the tech line. Dripper line is awesome for table beds, raised beds, or in containers. See these videos for more details. You can connect the tech line directly to your water source, whether it's at the valves or a Rainbird Retro, as shown in the previous video. But since the area you want to water is usually away from your water source, you may want to use the black tubing first to get to the area you want to water. 
These are some of the common tech line fittings. But what if you want to attach it to the black tubing? These won't always play well with the black tubing. So these were developed a few years ago and work great. They're called transition fittings. The only place I've found that carries them is at Ewing Irrigation, which has locations throughout the U.S. And they have a website, which I'll put a link in below. The two most common I use are the T's and the couplers. If you're irrigating small plants and trees that are going to get substantially larger, then double up on the length of the tubing and double wrap it around the tree. Then as the tree grows larger, you can expand the tubing to fit the drip line. TechLine has 30 PSI pressure regulators built in, so under normal conditions you can run up to 300 foot laterals. If there's anything else you'd like to know about TechLine that I haven't covered here and you can't find the answer, just leave the question in the comment section below. Also, I'm not going to go into detail about the quarter inch dripper line fittings here since I've covered them in the other videos that I mentioned a moment ago. I hope this was helpful. Remember the free downloads that can help you with your irrigation projects. And also remember the resources site link below that has many of the products for sale that I've discussed in this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.